You know, technology has allowed us to do a lot of things, made a lot of things easier, more accessible, if you will, like hiring a hitman to uh, kill the wife of a person you meet online. Uh, that's how this next story goes. Uh, Melody, well, there is an app for everything. There really is. Uh, Melanie, or Melody, rather, Sasser, uh, who's in Tennessee, arrested on charges of attempting to hire a hitman to kill the wife of a man she met on a dating site. So there's a lot to unpack there in that first sentence. Yes. Um, so not only is she, she's on match.com. She meets a man who's married. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Why? I like this guy, but he's married. So how do I kill his wife? <laughs> and well, and he's on match.com as well. Yeah, exactly. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he deserves to be killed. I don't know. Sasser allegedly transferred $10,000 in Bitcoin to a website called online killers market in exchange for the murder. I, I, I guess I have not heard of online killers market, but. It, it, it sounds like a very interesting business. Uh, the relationship between Sasser and the man she met on Match.com turned sour when he revealed his plans to move out of the state and uh, be with his wife. Well, yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, Sasser allegedly then posted a hit order on the dark web under the pseudonym Cat Tree, uh, requesting, to, uh, requesting the murder to appear random and accidental. She had previously shown up unannounced at the couple's new home and made threats after learning of their wedding plans. Uh, the intended victim's car was vandalized and she received threatening calls from untraceable numbers. Sasser provided the would-be killer with detailed information about the victim, including her residence, workplace, and car details. She obtained the victim's whereabouts from the fitness tracking app uh, Strava, which connects to Garmin Fitness Watches. Sasser, oh, that's nice. Sasser confirmed the accuracy of the victim's information through the hiking app before sharing it with the Murder for Hire website. Sasser is currently now in custody, and the defense attorney declined to comment on the case. Wow. How do you... How? Why? What What, what would possess someone to do this? It's, I mean, obviously, people kill for, you know, a couple things. It's sex, money, and power. Uh... This, obviously, we got the sex component of it. I, I guess I'm just trying to figure out why he's on the website. Uh, if he's wanting to stay with this woman uh, that he's with, is it like an old profile that was still up there and he never took it down when he met somebody? Is he actively, you know, do they have an open relationship? Uh, what the hell is going on uh, that this woman even came to their home at one point in time? Yeah, and that's you bring up a really good point. It could be an old profile, but how does she? Well, I suppose maybe names, but I mean, it seems weird that she would have this detailed information um, unless the man was, you know, communicating some of that info to mm -hmm. her. Yeah, I mean, to have uh, he she knew enough as to what to look for. Um, it, yeah. it, it, it's scary with the apps that we have and the tracking that they can do. Now, obviously. That hiking app is designed to do just that for hikers who want to see where they've come and gone. But there are so many apps out there that track your location that really are not anything to do with location tracking. It just knows where you're at in terms for uh, advertising and things of that nature. So you always, at least I always try and turn them off the, the tracking on every app unless it's something I'm using for that purpose. Uh, it, it's, it's just uh, amazing to me though, that, that she was able to, I guess, hack into it unless this person was posting their information publicly. Uh, it doesn't talk well, about that, but. There are a lot of people I know, and I forget the name of the app. Um, it's through my fitness pal yeah. where you can, you can show people where you've been biking mm -hmm. or walking, that kind of thing. So I, I think you can change these to public profiles. And I don't know why anybody in their right mind would ever do that. Ever, ever, ever. It, you're just asking for trouble. I think a lot, of, a lot of times they're on by default and you have to be wise enough to go in and decide when to turn it off or, or just and I think to that's turn it off. So careless of these companies to put that stuff out there as public first, um, because there's a lot of people who have no idea that that's even going on. They, they aren't tech savvy. They don't understand. 
that anybody can can look in and see what you're up to, see where you are at any given time. That's yeah. frightening. That's a, that's one that I found to be a little weird with uh, kids and and how their lives are in terms of dating and such. I have several teenagers in my home. And what happens now from what they've educated me on is when you're when you're dating somebody now, like in high school, kind of a, mm -hmm. a point of commitment or, or showing that you, you know, you're with the other person is being able to track their every move by sharing well, like on Snapchat, by right? sharing your location with them. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it, it's it's sharing your location so you can geo track wherever they are. And I mean, I think it gives a lot of paranoid teenagers who are, you know, ready to cheat or be cheated on um, a lot of paranoia in terms of, you know, where they're at and why were you here? Why were you there? Oh, it, it, it just it seems like a level of intrusion that I wouldn't want uh, with someone that you're, you know, you're in high school and you're dating uh, me and my uh, fiance and all of our kids have it. We use Life 360 but we use it more so like because we have all these people. We're coming and going, dinner here, there. Can you get this kid over there or that way? So we use it for that, not in a way of paranoia, like where are you at? Um, so are you talking about like on the iPhone where you share your location? Yeah, you can share your location basically is what I'm talking okay. about. Okay. Yeah. And a lot that of just – it's like you're a, setting somebody up for a a lifetime of I need to know where you are every second of my fucking day. It's really controlling, I think, if you're using it like that, especially if it's like, where were you? Why were you here? Uh, that is is a bit much, but it it's the norm. It is it's the norm for a whole generation of people that think that that's just healthy and okay. And the rest of us who've never really done that, we look at it in horror, going, huh. How is this healthy or good? But it's this level of control that everybody you know wants to have or thinks that they have the right to have. And it's spooky. <laughs> it's, it's invasive. I don't like it at all. Um, but there you go. It's kind of like, are you going steady? Are you, uh, uh, and if you are, then you're, you're going to be tracking the other person's every move, I guess. Oh, that's so frightening. Yeah. And it's so not okay. So happy I am not a child. Right. There's there's so many things with that statement too. Just the different world that they're growing up in, and how uh, everything is so off the wall, and what's being marketed as normal, and this or that. And it's I yeah. I'm glad I'm I'm where I'm at right now because I I don't think I do the greatest at navigating some of those spaces. If you want to weigh in on uh, this or anything we talk about, 888-5-KILLER, 888-554-5537 to share your opinion with us. For Stacy, I'm Tony. Stay with us.